Hi, and welcome to the Lovelands podcast. My name is Dion Zara, just your average girl wishing to learn more about love and relationships. As a young girl, I always dreamt about my wedding day, and to be fair, I still do sometimes. With many couples around me, I quickly came to realise love isn't as straightforward as the movies make out. So I thought I'd have conversations with couples who made it past happily ever after to learn more about love. And when I say love, I don't mean like the movies and fairy tales, but I mean L-O-V-E, learning to be open, vulnerable, and empathetic. So if you're ready to learn, unlearn, and discover love through couples, you're in the right place. Hi, and welcome to the Love Learns podcast. We're at our final, final episode, guys. This is the final episode for the long distance relationship series. Um, we spoke to six very amazing couples. Um, we started off with Sam and Joanna and last week ended with my mum and dad. Um, and I'm super, super excited um, that we managed to get through this season. Like before I started, I, I wasn't expecting to even get that many couples um, to actually interview, um, but they were all amazing. They all had great insights. In this episode, I'm going to really talk about um, things that I think I've seen as a common denominator across all the couples um, for long distance, just to give you guys some tips and tricks if you're doing long distance. Um, And then the other bits are going to be just favourite bits that I liked from each episode. Here are the top three things I think are essential to a long distance relationship. The first thing I think is absolutely essential which was pointed out by I think all of them was um that you need to be intentional there needs to be some sort of intentionality in the relationship and um you have to be intentional with the time that you put in or intentional with as um Justin and Anna was talking about how um they were busy on the weekdays so they made an, a plan and made it intentional were intentional with the time that they had on the weekends so they spent more time on the weekends so that's them acting out their intentionality um we had the same thing with um GB and his wife Fran um when GB went to the hospital um to go and see Fran it's it's doing things to make sure that you're being intentional making sure the other person understands um that you're in this relationship and you're willing to make this relationship work so there has to be a give and take from both sides um that was like one thing that I could see from pretty much every conversation that we had so yeah intentionality is a big one um make sure that you're being intentional with your partner if you are doing long distance um make sure that you you make it obvious what the intentions are um and where things are going um and that leads me into the second thing that you need as well which is um a goal you need an end date um all of them said that they need you need something to be looking forward to um the end date could be like trips in between or it could be the end of the whole thing um eddie and sophie mentioned in their episode where they said they knew it was just going to be three years because of her um undergrad so it's like having a idea that this is going to end it's just a season it's just a period GB and Fran kept on saying it was also just seasons there's seasons in your life so if you make it give it an end goal you have an, a time to look forward to a time where you're um excited that that day's coming but in between those times you're um doing what you have to do for yourself as well as for the relationship um yeah so I think that also leads me into the third thing which is getting to know yourself um, whilst you're on doing the long distance and doing things for yourself. Um, When we were speaking to Sam and Joanna, um, Joanna was studying and Sam was doing whatever he was doing with the the ministry that he was with. Um, So they were both learning about themselves in that time. Um, Eddie and Sophie, um, Eddie was working here and had his own life going on and um, Sophie was studying her, for her undergrad um, and then you've got Justin and um, Anna where they were doing their own thing as well so they were working they both had their own lives um, 
and getting on with things in their own little worlds, but making sure that they're being intentional enough to make sure the other person knew what was going on in their life and being emotionally um, intertwined, if you know what I mean. We don't want entanglements, but we want like you to have um, some sort of, uh, not de I don't want to say dependency because you can be co-dependent sometimes, but like just at some sort of um, space where you can feel safe and secure um, with your partner. So if you guys still have that interest and interest that both of you can work on together but have an understanding that you're still one person and you shouldn't be losing yourself in your relationship even more so in a long distance relationship but you have to be intentional enough to know the balance between when you're spending time with your partner and when you are um, doing things for yourself and um, developing who you are as a person so yeah those are the three things I think you need in a long distance relationship intentionality having a goal or end goal getting to know yourself and developing who you are as an individual those are the top three things that I took away from each and every episode and I could see those as patterns between each and every episode I enjoyed I enjoyed all the episodes to be honest with you um and just speaking to people and finding out about their journeys has given me an insight on things that I did in, like wrong in my own long distance relationship um and I can I'll, I'll be honest with you guys when I was in a long distance relationship I think one thing that I let myself down on was um the learning uh, like developing yourself I used to put all my energy into the relationship and not really um balance it out like I'd spend time with friends and stuff but I never had a true sense of who I was in the relationship or in like in who I was in life and um, so I kind of like it became kind of like my identity which shouldn't have um, so that's where I think I failed for myself um, and where things didn't go well and that's probably why our relationship didn't end the way it should have but um, yeah like everything happens for a reason so we move <laughs> but um yeah those are the things that I picked up from the episodes so yeah that's um what I've learned from the last season and I just wanted to share that with you so that it makes it a little bit clearer if you didn't want to watch all the episodes guys as I said this is one of the, the this is just an episode to show some of my best bits so here you go here are a few of my best bits from each couple but anyway, so I had an accident. I ran into a glass door and I had a huge cut on my on, on, on my leg um, and needed a few stitches. And then on my way back to Lagos, um, my sister and her then fiance um, we were supposed to travel back to London, but I fell ill. I fell ill, I had high fever, um, I was throwing up all sorts. Um, and on our way to the airport, I, I'd already felt like strange. I felt weak. And then by the time we got to the airport, we checked in and I just wanted to come home. I wanted to get to London. And then literally um, one of the students saw me and she saw the bad state I was in and she said, she can't let me fly. So I had a little panic attack, um, but yeah had no luck they sent me home um my friend um, took me to the hospital and Jibi had called me to say oh you know just to wish you a safe journey home and I said oh I'm not flying I'm in the hospital and he was like really and I'm like yes um and he's like what hospital but they had given me like tablets um so I was in and out of consciousness and I just about saw the name of the hospital on one of the I think it was a sheet of paper. So, so I told him the name of the hospital, but then I think I knocked out. And um, I don't know how many hours later I woke up, but he sat on my bed. Oh, wow. So he woke <laughs> he up on your bed. bed. <laughs> he was like, literally, I woke up and then there's this guy sitting on my bed. And then he tells me how um, he tried to locate the hospital and he couldn't find it. And he asked ho a whole lot of people for directions. And you need to understand, like, um, Lagos split into the island and the mainland and he
he actually traveled all the way from the island to the mainland. And then he had to locate this little private clinic. Um, and he only had half of the name of the clinic. But basically, like I woke up and then he was there. And um, when they discharged me, he took me home. But my friend wasn't home and I we couldn't reach her. So he took me to his place and then I knocked out again. And then I woke up in the morning and I looked at him and he's like, don't worry, I slept on the sofa. <laughs> don't worry, I slept on the sofa. It's all good. And then when I saw my leg, it, you know, it was bleeding, it looked a mess. It needed a change of dressing. And this guy gets his emergency kit out and he changed my dressing. I couldn't watch because it was so gory, but he changed my dressing. And I was just so taken away at the fact, I mean, we've been friends for a long time, but I just thought it was amazing how he made the effort to visit me, to pick me up, um, didn't have my suitcases. Um, so he got me clothes and then he dropped me off at my friend's house, but he was so caring. And that, that was, I think a game changer actually. <laughs> I think the two weeks shows around just played itself out very well. So, so many opportunities for me to prove myself as a, as a man, you know. So, I think I took it. Show your true self, no matter what, because in the, in the long term, that's what you are. At the end of the day, when we're sitting together and we're married and, you know, it's locked down and you have nowhere else to go to, you, you, you have nothing but your true self to show, right? And mm -hmm. You have to be comfortable under your own skin. So, yeah. Yourself. For me, at least, I, I think so, because it's like you're trying to get the best deal possible that satisfies both people. That way you both can, you know, it's more fun if the team progresses and is satisfied. So it's like trying to figure out, OK, how is this deal going to look like? I, I think make I think a good relationship is like making deals every single day. You got to make good deals. And if you try to cheat the other person, it will bite you in the butt later. Yeah. <laughs> um, something that stuck with me is that a distance kind of distorts reality. So not being with someone, it's easy to then, you know, start um, reading into things or misunderstanding one another, stuff like that. So I think just being able to be like, okay, actually, we haven't seen each other. That's why we're feeling this way. Or maybe that would be me, I guess. But yeah. I'm feeling this way because I ha I haven't spoken to any or um, it's been a long time since we saw one another. Um, and just kind of acknowledging those things. The main thing that I've learned is about choosing. You know, because love is a feeling, but it's also a choice. So yeah. you learn how to choose that person no matter what. I mean, even if it's like miles away, you know, you, I know that she's for me and she's going to be my wife one day. And that, um, that choice, I, you basically had to make it every day. And I think that really helped, um, you know, solidify our relationship even before going into marriage. And, uh, I th in, and it also brought up a lot of, um, you know, arguments and stuff that we were, were able to like solve even before going into, you know, the, in, in marriage. So we were like all these insecurities that you have, you know, with, with every new relationship, like you probably, you don't know if she's like being faithful or, you know, stuff like that. And uh, a lot of discussions that might rise, you know, from these insecurities got to be, exposed because of the long distance um if someone is going through a long distance relationship um what i'll say is just take it like any other relationship you have to be patient and then you you will have to communicate that is a very key thing in life every relationship depends on if you if you if you are going to um, achieve your aim or the purpose of going into that relationship i think communication is one of the key points then you need to communicate with the person that will come into your life do not let the long distance hinder the way you 
feel about the person. No, because you need, you need, you need to, that if it comes to love, to be honest with you, if you love someone, as they say, love conquers all. Being it a long distance, a short distance. Mm -mm. When it comes to love, long distance becomes short to you because you love the person. You understand? And the moment, the moment that love or the moment you realize how much you love the person, all of that, everything else becomes like a secondary matter. Long distance, short distance, it's, 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 it's nothing to you. You will, yes, at times you will, you will wish that the person is closer to you. Yes, but do not let that, do not let that um, take over your life because the person is not closer to you. Now it's like communication, it has become very easy now. You can communicate with someone. You can, you can even see someone whilst you are, you are speaking with a person. So do not let that hinder a relationship that you have with a person. Give it a go. Give it a go wholeheartedly and see how it yeah. goes. And see how yeah. it goes. Because I have a feeling um, God has a purpose for everyone. If you bring someone in your life and the person is closer to you, he's going to make a way for you. If you bring someone in your life and the person lives away, well, it lives really, um, and it's, it is a long distance relationship, he will make a way for you. He will make a way for you. It's just for you to, you know, tap into it, communicate, communicate with the person. Always be open okay. with the person. Don't, don't, don't keep things from the person. Just tell us. It's not always that you are going to be, you know, not because I'm saying that. So you think, you know, I should always, I should always be positive. I should, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's a roller coaster. At times you will, you, you'll be okay with the fact that, okay, the person is that far away from me at times. Um, it will get to you in a way, but you overcome it. And I think your mindset also plays a role. You overcome it. So I think long, long distance, short distance, you have to be open. You have to be, you have to communicate more. And then you have to keep on loving the person. Even though the person is miles and miles away, just keep on loving the person. Keep on expressing your love to the person just like he was just by you and you tell the person all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah. You, have to, think... you, you have to compromise in every relationship, being it like a relationship, a group of, friends, a group of water, you need to compromise. You can't always have your way. You need to compromise. Yeah, Mr. Akoto, can I take over? over to you. Yeah. Okay. 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 Talking about uh, compromise, I think one of the things that makes um, uh, long distance relationships work is empathy you know you have to feel for the other person you have a, uh, you have to uh, say what if if I were in that person's shoes mm -hmm. what would that uh, what would, how would that person feel you know so you do th things to uh, by considering what uh, that, how it will affect your partner you know and that is very very important because you can't just make random statements and expect it to be 
uh, uh, which you know it's hurtful and expect it to just ride. You know, it, 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 with someone you love, you have to keep, try to keep that person happy, you know. And having said that, do you, uh, uh, Berita just um, uh, touched on uh, honesty. And honesty should be there. As so is trust. You have to trust mm -hmm. that that person has your well-being at heart. Yeah. You know, if you have any issues, you discuss with that person. You communicate, like we've been saying, communicate, communicate, communicate. That person has your uh, um, uh, interest at heart. So mm -hmm. you um, you trust that person to deliver, and you ex you uh, play your part in that exchange of trust, you know, and that will also come with uh, patience. You have to be patient, not, Rome was not built in a day, but sometimes things get delayed. Uh, you have to uh, wait for things and uh, sometimes your fault, sometimes not your fault, but uh, patience is a virtue that would uh, do well in a long distance relationship, you know. So that is a, uh, one, uh, some of the things that uh, I would uh, uh, advocate in this long, uh, long distance relationship, you know, uh, trust, patience, empathy, communication. I mean, they all do well to keep the uh, relationship going and not only going, improving the relationship. Eh? That's right. Expression yeah. of love. Expression of love. I mean, it's, it, it, it's sometimes difficult, but you there's uh, nothing is impossible thank you so much for coming along on this journey with us um we still have um a few more episodes uh, a few more seasons to come but we're going to take a short break um just so that i can collect couples and also if you guys know any couples that you want to nominate for um the long distance uh for any kind of season um just let me know the next season is gonna be actually i'm gonna leave that and let you guys know when when um we start the next season but um yeah i'm looking forward to it and i can't wait to have us all learn more about other aspects of relationships not just long distance um i did have a few questions of people asking me do you just do long distance and it's no 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 we're gonna do other seasons with many, many more topics. So if you have a topic that you want me to explore, please just send me a message on Instagram or on Facebook, or yeah, just send me an email as well. The um, email is in the show notes. And so is the Instagram link and the Facebook link. So if you send me messages there, I will definitely look at them and make those suggestions and find couples that suit those topics um, and we'll get moving from there but like thank you so much for being part of the community if you haven't liked shared or subscribed please do so that we can get this community built to a bigger platform so i can get more couples the more people that know about us the more couples that are going to come on um, and share their experiences and the more we can learn together um, so if you could do that for me that would be amazing um, if we could get like a hundred followers by the end of like june that would be great but like let's let's just try and get to some sort of point where we can learn more about what we're doing and yeah i'm just babbling now <laughs> but yeah let's um keep on going guys um thank you so much for staying tuned and being part of the community love you lots bye